guys welcome back for another tutorial today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute Kleenex box cover I saw them over at the Pottery Barn for $25 so I thought I could totally make that and so if you're interested then stick around okay so the first thing you're going to do is get a Kleenex box so this is the one I will be using it is a square if you want all the measurements for this one it is a Kleenex brand that will be at my blog and I will also have instructions on how to you know create your measurements if you are using a different size box or a rectangle box so definitely head over there and you can figure out all of your pieces for this project you will have six different pieces cut out two for the top and then one for each side panel so I have my two top pieces and if you have a printed fabric make sure they are right sides together and then I have my four other side panels so now I'm going to start making the opening for our tissues so if you wanted to use the top of the Kleenex box you can totally use that as a template if not you can just choose a different shape I'm going to be using a small circle so I just cut that out of that cardboard just to make it easy and then I'm going to center it in the middle of that square and trace around that cardboard circle I'm using a water soluble pen by Clover but you can use chalk or whatever you have you're not gonna see this line because it will be hidden inside anyway so whatever you got is totally fine so after I've traced that circle then I'm going to put some pins on the two pieces just to keep them together and so they don't shift during the sewing process and now I'm going to take that over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew that circle because my circle is only about one and a half inches in diameter it is a little small so I'm just gonna take my time you know even if you have to lift your presser foot every three or four stitches just to go around that circle um, it took me a little bit but it's totally fine it will come out perfect if you just take your time and make it as nice and perfect as possible after that you're going to snip your threads and then we will take it out of the sewing machine and then we will take some sharp scissors create a slit in the center of that circle and then cut out the circle about a quarter of an inch away from your line of stitching after that we are going to put little slits throughout that circle um, and that will help to have it lay flat when you um, go to turn it in or right side out make sure you don't cut your stitches in this step also so I'm just going to take the top layer and then push it through the circle and it will come right sides out I'm sorry it's hard to tell just because I'm not using a printed fabric but hopefully you can imagine that now this is the right side of the fabric and then I'm just going to press that with my iron and if you're feeling confident with your sewing a circle skills then you can do a top stitch around that circle I'm just doing that about two or three millimeters away from the edge okay so now we're finished with the top of your Kleenex box cover and now we will start attaching the side panels I'm not going to be hiding any raw edges in this project just because you're not going to see them and I don't really find that that's necessary. If you are planning on selling them, you can definitely serge the edges, zigzag the edges, or use bias tape on all the edges. But for me, I'm, you know, low maintenance, so I don't really care. I'm just going to let my raw edges fly. <laughs> So I'm just attaching all four panels one at a time and it will look like this and then I will take the sides of the panels and then line them up and then again so a quarter of an inch seam allowance and then once you've done all four of your sides then it will look like this turning out absolutely beautiful now we're just gonna hem the bottom because I mean I don't mind raw edges but I'm not gonna go too crazy I will hem the bottom of this so I am going to be using a zigzag stitch only because I think it kind of looks pretty especially with this fabric so I'm just going to fold up a half an inch and then I will do the zigzag and then that will cover up the raw edge so it doesn't fray and um, 
give it a good little hem clearance from the bottom. If you are going to hem it and hide the raw edges, then I would fold it up a quarter of an inch and then fold it again another quarter of an inch and then do a straight stitch. But I think that because I don't have a printed fabric, the zigzag stitch really adds something to it. So I think it came out really, really cute and I love it and I hope you do too. So if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All those links will be down below. Also, definitely join the community. I would love to have you. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.